Oh my gosh, I like lost eight dress sizes in four months. Corn and wheat being wiped out. <sighs> we didn't know enough about what we were doing. It looks like this and will eat through the wall of your intestine. It's how people get leaky gut. My skin, hair, everything. I never had such a great transformation. Arthritis, leukemia, eczema. The treatment for that is that you're not what you eat. You are what you eat eats. It just never made any sense to me. Many, many cancers are actually a I was a research biologist for a huge pharma ag company and I was on the first research teams that created the first GMO wheat and corn. We were going to end world hunger. That's where we were. Because what happens is you have massive crops of corn and wheat being wiped out by a fungal blight. And once the fungus gets into a crop, it's gone. So the mRNA process of inserting a naturally occurring fungus that happens in your gut called candida, which is a really aggressive, really strong fungus. You use mRNA technology to insert the DNA of this fungus into the corn, into the wheat, and then it exhibits those aggressive fungal properties as an organism, and then the fungus that was attacking the wheat in the corn that was causing the massive blight is now ineffective because the candida is so much stronger and the candida doesn't kill because it's now incorporated in the DNA of the plant. And we believed that this was the genius, miraculous way we were going to ensure the end of world hunger. We were going to stop this blight. We would have corn and wheat that would never be wiped out by this fungus again. And it's not dangerous because the candida that we were using already happens in your gut. So we're not incorporating anything into the food that's not already into your body. So where did everything go wrong? We didn't know enough about what we were doing. What we on the ground level didn't understand was that because candida is so aggressive, it stays. So when you eat it, you're actually getting more candida into your body than your body needs, which now you're causing these massive candida outbreaks in your gut. And candida destroys everything. Your eyes destroys all your good flora and fauna. It just, and it, it is actually an invasive fungus that it looks like, like this. So there's a circle with flagellol on the outside. It actually attaches to the sidewall of your intestine and will eat through the wall of your intestine. It's how people get leaky gut. I came down with a very, very bad candida infestation in my body because of antibiotic overdoses, right? So I had a total hip replacement. I had number of surgeries on all these antibiotics, killed all my good stuff, but candida doesn't die that way. Plus, you got the GMOs feeding my body with more candida. It was awful. It was very, very awful. I have a friend who's holistic, and we went through colonics. Colonics is not supposed to be painful, but it was excruciating for me because the candida had completely ripped up my insides. And she said when she was watching the flush, it, everything was coming out of my intestines completely white. She had never seen a candida infestation like that before. The good thing that comes out of this is because I had all that background, I deep dived into the research to find out what was going on. And I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe this. I went and developed my own candida diet, which was the hardest thing I'd ever done because I didn't eat anything on the glycemic index chart over 50 for almost an entire year. But it's really the greatest thing that happened to my body. I like lost eight dress sizes in four months. My energy level stayed like this. There were no more afternoon crashes. I woke up awake in the morning. I went to sleep at night. My skin, my hair, everything. I, I never had such a great transformation in my entire life. That's when I figured out. Candida feeds on sugar. That's why people crave sugar. I believe that the medical industry knows everything about candida that I know. Because there's a kind of leukemia that causes topical sores. The treatment for that is an antifungal cream. When they talk about a kind of arthritis that causes eczema, the treatment is an antifungal pill. So they know there's like 25 symptoms that they treat as separate diseases 
which are all symptoms of candida infestation. There are many doctors who for a very long time have said that many, many cancers are actually a fungal infection. They're candida because of the leaky gut. Candida needs sugar to survive, which is why you crave sugar if you have a candida infestation. When you start starving candida and denying it its sugar, it starts to die. It releases a new chemical that gives you massive headaches to force you to feed it. It's a parasite. It's not a symbiotic being. If you look at a person from the back and they look like a, you know, just a regular otherwise healthy person, but then you come around the front and they got that big beer belly, that's candida because it's all the gas. It's one of the things that made me really look into candida was because I was having so much gas that it was pushing up on my diaphragm when I was laying in bed at night and I was having heart palpitations. And I did some research and I started Googling, can gas put pressure on your heart? Intestinal gas put pressure on your heart. And there's study after this. No, 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 no. It just never made any sense to me. You can't push on your heart and not have it go, eh, right? Yeah. But you get rid of this and the gas goes away. You're not what you eat. You are what you eat eats. So all the grain that is pumped into your, your beef, into your pork, into your chickens, it's all full of candida.